Uh, now, it was a sad week for the residents of Albert Square as Dot was laid to rest, surrounded by her loved ones, including today's guest. He's joining us alongside his wife for the first ever joint interview, and they've got a very busy 2023 planned. And here to tell us more, please welcome James and Victoria. Bye. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Exciting. Gee, let's do stand in. Oh, no. This wow. is a nice novel day. It is. I'm usually on this side <laughs> and sat with you lovely people. So this is really weird for me to be sat here. No, that's lovely. It's lovely to have you both Thank together. You. And I know it's been it's been a completely crazy couple of months for you as a family and everything else. We've just mentioned, of course, those very emotional scenes in EastEnders this week as well. James, what was that like to be part of? I mean, she was such an iconic character of the soap for so many, so synonymous with it, really, for so many years. Yeah, June was just an incredible character. So I was very fortunate to work with her, to share the stage with her and stuff. So to say goodbye was uh, yeah it was an emotional emotional week and um because we never... never got the chance did you really to no. say goodbye when she actually passed away nah, exactly that so so for us as obviously as actors to play that was we were saying goodbye to june as much as we were saying yeah. goodbye to dot so yeah yeah it was it was a yeah. tough there were a lot of real tears weren't there mm -hmm. yeah okay. and i feel like the production they've done such a we obviously we watched it and it, they've done such an amazing job bringing it all together and so many people have contacted me on social media and in the street and stuff said, you know, how um, how they were just like moved by the whole story. And isn't it like her where your kids were in, in They the were, show, so yeah. they came along and, and sat in the in the back of shot and stuff. So that was um, that was amazing as well for, to, to to meet them as well. So, yeah. yeah. It was interesting to watch it and feel you were watching a real funeral. You know, it wasn't people weren't acting, they were actually saying goodbye. So it was really yeah. sad. And yeah, it really moved us watching it last yeah, night. It was done in the best possible way, I Definitely. think, from a viewer yeah. perspective as well. Um, this weekend, though, a very, very different end of the week, in fact, <laughs> uh, James Strictly, the final. I know. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's, it's just one of those shows I know you very feel like this <laughs> when it comes to Christmas. It's one strictly starts. It's, it's a Christmas, perfect build yes, up. It's officially it the Christmas festive season. <laughs> yeah. And I know, I mean, you're very aware of television and being in this, you know, in front of the camera, but that was such a different experience. Oh, yeah. And I, like, I said this to you, didn't I? <laughs> like, the whole strictly thing, like, t I felt like I'd never done TV in my life. It was a completely <laughs> different experience. And like, I am no dancer, as I'm sure now the nation will, uh, <laughs> will agree with that. But, um, you know, I mean, it was... You were great. Oh, you did really well. Thank yeah. you. See how I queued it up? No, <laughs> you actually really were great, though, because you generally never had dance experience, mm -hmm. did you? So Do you know you what it was, right? It, I didn't have a dance experience. I, I was very lucky. Like, Amy was a fantastic teacher. Yeah. But I just, you know, and I learned this very early on in my, in my journey in Strictly, is just to, and it's a real cliche, but to enjoy it. Yeah. I knew I wasn't going to win it, like, genuinely, mm. because I, there were so many talented people in, in this year's uh, lineup. Mm -hmm. So I just had to go out every week and just and make sure when I walked off that I'd given it my all. And mm. still you know, the hard, judges said yeah. stuff. It's still hard when you're under and pressure. When you, when you found out you were doing it and, you, and he told you. Yes. What, what was your reaction? Because obviously you hear <laughs> about the Strictly Curse. Oh, yes. So you, were you like, oh, but. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I was really nervous. And um, we've got a great relationship. We've been together for 16 years. Um, but, you know, these girls are gorgeous. Mm. They're in their 20s. So are you. They've got yeah, perky thank beads. you. That's what I said. <laughs> you know, they haven't had three children. And, and I was worried. I thought, God, you know, he's going to be spending all this time with this other girl. And, you know, that's going to be quite a worry. Um, but then I had to have a little word with myself. And... You know, he's been working as an actor for many years. Yeah. And I've seen him pick Lacey Turner up, who's gorgeous, and snog her on a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> and that wasn't even on his tenure. <laughs> As Martin, as yeah. Martin. And so I thought, do you know what? If I can deal with that, I can deal with the Fox. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> you did amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. actually refreshingly honest to, to hear you say that, in fact, because I'm guessing yeah. every single couple has exactly yeah. that thought process. But if you don't I really ever get to do it. Strictly, I'm only doing it for the curse. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever I'm with there needs to know. That. I mean, yes, the men are quite tasty. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you you say you, you guys have been together 16 years, yes. so you met in a... Supermarket. We did. <laughs> car park. We did. We met in the car park. In the car park, yes. <laughs> what was he doing? I was collecting the trolleys. No, no, no he wasn't. <laughs> so James was um, a young out of work actor um, and I was doing a bit of shopping and he was doing a promotions job in the corner giving out fruit jellies <laughs> and, um, and I must have really liked the fruit jellies <laughs> because I went over 
and um, you could win a competition to go on holiday. And he said, now, if you enter this, you have to take me with you. So, oh, so really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, but what was he dressed as? Well, yeah, he was he was dressed with red um, lycra trousers inside a giant pineapple. I oh, know. <laughs> I was smitten. Wow. Kind of so how did you go from that to your first date? Who asked who for the Well, number? she avoided me, actually, funny <laughs> enough. <laughs> Once I think you came to your senses well, and I thought, sort of why am I going to date thought, with a pineapple? How have I agreed to go out with this guy that I just met in a car park? <laughs> I think my mum was like, Victoria, no. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is not a good idea. And, Anyway, we swapped numbers and he turned up at the pub across the road from my house and he texted me saying, I'm here, and my friends were like... Not what? dressed as a pineapple. Yeah, not <laughs> didn't recognise you in your ordinary clothes. And my friends said, just go, just stay for one drink and then you can come home. And oh, that's stayed, nice. Stayed all night. Oh, <laughs> and you got married, what, ten years ago and you're yes. going to be renewing your vows. We yeah. Are. Congratulations, oh, what's going to happen? You. What are you going to do? So, yeah, we're off to St Lucia. Yeah, so we honeymooned there. And uh, it's just, it's a real kid friendly venue. And when we honeymoon, we were like, if ever we get, you know, we're lucky enough to have children, we'd love to come back and bring the kids here. <laughs> and we're quite romantic, aren't we? As a couple, we are quite <laughs> He's romantic. He's very romantic. Oh, yeah. yeah, so the, to, to renew our vows <laughs> and have the kids there, like involved in the it's wedding, lovely. is actually really yeah. special. Do so. you know Blackpool's quite kid friendly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. I didn't get to Say Blackpool, though, did I? Yeah. To bring another yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, I wanted to ask you, because you mentioned yeah. your three boys there, and I think it's quite an important message, because I know you've got endometriosis. Yes. And a lot of people that are diagnosed with that, suddenly the first thought is, I will never have children. Yeah, yeah. So tell us a little bit about your story. Yeah, so um, we had the first two children, really lucky. It was easy conception, everything was going to plan, and then we always knew we wanted a really big family, so we started trying for number three. Just nothing happened, so I thought, this is odd. Um, and I'd always suffered with sort of aches and pains in this area and as many women just put it down to women's problems. Um, spoke to friends and said, you know, oh, I get terrible period pains, do you? And everyone's like, oh, it's just women's problems. Yeah. Um, and it only was sort of when I was at the point where, and I said to you, it's like a feeling of having broken glass inside you, it's so awful. Um, and being every month with my hot water bottle, unable to get up, that I thought, you know what, something's not right. Um, went to see my GP. They referred me on to gynae and, yeah, they said I had endometriosis, yeah. had two surgeries, um, and after the second surgery, a couple of months later, I fell pregnant. So it can happen. Yeah. Yeah. You shared all that, didn't you, on your Instagram? Yes. Uh, Life with the bias, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I love that, by the way. <laughs> Thank I followed you. that. They were so good for you on there. Hey. <laughs> they were so good when you were in oh, Strictly. Oh, do you know what? Like, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, oh, we were just saying you. backstage, actually, when I got kicked out of Strictly, like, the next morning I'd come down and they were all there hugging me and, <laughs> and they were like, are you still in Strictly, Daddy? And I was like, no. And they all went, yeah! Oh, yeah, <laughs> no. So I was like, oh, maybe it is the right time. Maybe Craig was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of your kids, what about these digital door locks? You ever going to get one? Never. <laughs> I don't think, no. We, uh, we were talking about this, weren't we? I think we want to be able to, you know, see what the boys Control are doing them. at yeah. all times, <laughs> yeah. yeah, as they get older, I think. Yeah. We don't want to be controlling parents and you have to let them have, you their know, space. their yeah. space, but I think locks... I mean, I was like young, don't forget, our kids, <laughs> yeah. our, our eldest is only nine, so maybe if we, if we put one on, I'd pretend, they'd be like, look, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's unlocked, they there do, you go. They do letting... like their own privacy, that's the trouble, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Even our yeah. three-year-old now, you know, if he wants to go to the bathroom, he's like, Mummy, Daddy, out, and he shuts mm -hmm. the door behind him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, it starts yeah. really young, yeah. doesn't it, really? Like, can we help up with the clean-up? <laughs> he's yeah. like, no, no, <laughs> wants to do it on his own. So, yeah, it's a tricky one. Yeah, OK, well... Colleen has something very special. For I us. have. Oh. Yeah. So we do. When well, we have this couples familiar. on, this yeah. is real. Well, oh. it can be. Colleen, <laughs> you're, you're up for that curse, we aren't can, you? I'm up for the curse. Yes. <laughs> She's going to make um, it. Happen. We do what we, when we have our married couples on, or couples of any kind, we always do a kiss cam, but because it's oh. Christmas, we're doing a mistletoe one. Oh, so get ready. Oh, oh, I have to hold it open. My arm's going to be <laughs> in it. I don't know, I'm getting a bit confused. <laughs> there. There you go. Oh, 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 it's Colleen. Give it to you. you. Yeah. And hold it over the two of you and do a kiss cam. There you go. That's it. Lovely. There's a Christmas Oh, look, That's nice. We just go. Try, just go round. <laughs> You're all right with that. Go on, do the, the loose women curse. Yeah. 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 Uh, thank out. you so much. It's so lovely to see you. Oh, and yeah. you for having us on. Good luck with the wedding vows, and of course, these standers back again tomorrow night, seven thirty. Yes, yeah. one. Thank you for have a lovely Christmas. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Thank you.